Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. Let me introduce myself. My name is Vinay and if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also click the bell icon. Let's start our video. In this video, we are going to discuss about pre-construction process and also construction process. First, pre-construction process. Let us discuss it with a simple story. There is a person named Raju and he wants to construct his dream house but there is no plan and workers to do his work. So he went to the consultancy services for plans and drawings. So the consultancy services are people who has a huge experience in the construction field so, can, so they can give plans and drawings to Raju. So they follow certain procedure site layout and site profile means they go to site whether it is a east facing or north facing and their dimensions and soil profile they will check everything and start uh, designing and planning based on the requirements of the clients and provides drawings to Raju. So this is an example of a drawing given to some submissions house. Now Raju has building plan and drawings to do his work so but he has a confusion whether he has to approach a builder or some coolies who are group of people both parties gave their estimated time and expense of the building finally he decided to approach a contractor work will start in a few days so this is the pre-construction process a building goes on let's discuss about construction stage in this construction of any residential or commercial buildings there were certain stages structure goes on in this picture you can see a building from scratch it goes on certain procedures to get to a new house the following are the major steps involved they are clearing stage and marking stage foundation and plinth level framed structure lockup stage, fitting stage and completion stage. Now we discuss in detail about each stages in the construction that is clearing stage and marking stage. In this stage the site is cleared and uneven surfaces are removed for ease of work and stability. Now according to plan layout is done. Layout means here you can see the foundations were laid down means they were drawn on the site to excavate in the next stage foundation and plinth level means you can see here excavation of soil for foundation carries based on size of footing after that a plain cement concrete PCC is poured into the pit and left for curing for some days so what is curing? Curing of concrete is defined as providing adequate moisture and temperature and time to allow the concrete to achieve certain desired properties that is known as curing. Reinforcement is kept on the top of PCC bed for footing and column. So you can see in these pictures the reinforcement is kept here. Reinforcement is kept and concrete is poured later. Okay. Shuttering is provided to hold the concrete in the correct shape. Then concrete is poured into the pit according to type of footings. So this is the footing and you can see a final stage. So it is an isolated footing. Okay, this is cured for at least 7 days on the site. A plinth beam is used to connect all the columns. So here you can see the plinth beams were laid. So based on plinth level, structure is divided into two types that is substructure below the ground and superstructure which is above the plinth. Next framed structure means all columns, beams, slabs and stairs are known as framed structures. These are skeletons of the structure. You can see in the picture beams, columns and here slabs and these footings so this is known as framed structure after plinth beam 
columns are raised to the height of first floor as per drawings and queued for full amount of strength means at least 28 days but on the site it maximum of 10 to 15 days they will queue after curing of columns centering and shuttering will be laid so you can see in the picture here the shuttering and this is centering so it is the vertical support this is the horizontal support horizontal support is known as uh, shuttering and vertical support is known as centering in this way the process will continue means uh, here the slab is poured the concrete is poured on the shuttering and the slab and beams and in this way the structure will go on up to the top level of the construction so it is the most time consuming part of the building next lockup stage in this lockup stage all brickworks doors windows are constructed it's at the point where you can literally start locking up the property because your windows and other remaining walls will be installed it's also safe for plumbers electricians cabinet makers and other tradesmen begin fitting out the property because if the walls are constructed then only the electricians plumbers will start work next fitting stage plumbing electrical and other fixtures and fittings will be installed in these tiling cabinets shelves reveals and architraves are also installed so now final stage that is completion stage this is basically where all paintings installations and detailings have to be completed so now we are ready to move into the house from idea of being construction of a house to the end of construction we follow these steps so if you have any doubt you can comment in the section below and thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel also click the bell icon thank you